Okay, so we're going to make a um, cake in the microwave. Um, it comes out like a really, really lovely normal sponge cake, but after a day, it kind of goes rock hard, but it's still so delicious. And we actually now, having discovered like how rock hard it goes and stuff, we actually wait for a day and have it the next day. Um, and it's like, you have to properly saw it, like properly like bread knife saw it and it goes <laughs> but it's so good and it's and then it's chewy i don't know how it works but it does so i'm going to be making a coffee and chocolate one i've already made my um coffee syrup which is basically just um two spoons of sugar two spoons of i've done cappuccino because that's what we've got but coffee is fine and then melt it uh, with a little bit of hot water and then stir it for that oh I sometimes just eat this by the spoon because it's so good. <laughs> and then we're going to um, do a generous portion of Nutella as well. Generous portion of Nutella. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to lick that because it's yummy. Let's stir that. Now, because I'm doing this um, with like Nutella and stuff, it's already unhealthy, so what the heck. If you wanted to make a healthy version, like with fruit, like a fruit cake, um, use olive oil instead of butter. But, you know, I'm going to use butter because <laughs> I'm already doing bad things with this. So, there we go. So, probably. I'd say that's probably about a tablespoon of butter. Put that in, and then we're just going to put that in the microwave to melt it. Now, when this um, when this all gets baked, it takes seven minutes, and then you have a cake. It's quite exciting. <laughs> right, next we're going to add a splash of milk um, just to kind of make the effects of the egg go further. It works. And also you don't want to scramble your egg because that would be grim. And then we're just going to mix that until it's all combined. There we go, this isn't speeded up properly. <laughs> going to gradually add self-raising flour and gradually until it makes cake batter. <laughs> so what you want is for your mixture to come about halfway because then it's going to rise another half. It makes a nice shape as well. Little seats in the jug. You don't have to do it in a jug, you can do it in a stove. Uh, like a bowl. And one tip is to just make sure that you push the edges down um, because you don't want that stuff baking too quickly because otherwise it will burn. There we go, you see. Right, put that in the microwave. Seven minutes. And that will be done. I would advise that you keep an eye on it still because sometimes, like if you've whisked it really, really well, sometimes it just like, um, yeah. So mine's risen quite a lot, I'll show you. Okay, so we're just going to test it. Knife's come out clean. It'll look quite wet, but I think it's alright. So then we just break it out. So we're going to leave that in the jug just for a minute, just so it can get a bit firmer, and then we'll um, 
put it out onto the Try screen. and capture the moment that it falls. Sometimes that will come out really, really easily. Other times there'll be a little bit of crumb stuff left, which is always good because then you can eat it. But I just want to show you like how soft this is. Look, it's such a sponge cake. It's really good. Cool. And like the coffee and the chocolate just taste amazing. I'm just going to eat this for you. <laughs> so then we let this cool. You can have this hot, obviously, with custard straight away. So literally, like, I don't know. If you suddenly go, oh, fancy pudding or whatever, it literally takes seven minutes. So, <laughs> um, you know, you can whip this up very quick and have a custard. But what I'm going to do, like I said, is let it cool. So I've actually before let this cool and then iced it and done it like a Victoria sponge, like a sandwich cake. And it's it's worked perfectly. It's just perfectly. It's just a small sponge cake, basically. But if you leave it a day, it becomes this amazing, like, chewy chocolate rock bun thing. It's amazing. Anyway, there it is. 